Hello and welcome to our video course on advanced hydroponics. I'm Christy Darlington, the founder of GreenLivingOffGrid.com and I'm here in my greenhouse where I have an aquaponics system which utilizes the fish water to feed my plants in my grow trays here in the greenhouse. And in this advanced hydroponic course, I'm going to be teaching you how to make complicated forms of hydroponics. Things like a deep water culture system, which we cover in module one. I teach you how to make an aeration grid, which can aerate your grow tray to be able to both clone plants, starting stems and getting roots to develop in your system, as well as grow large plants like tomatoes to full term in these hydroponic deep water culture grow buckets. And then in our second module, I'll be teaching you how to grow with aeroponics. Here in this second system back here, I have a number of herbs. I've got oregano and basil, kohlrabi. These are do really well in an aeroponic system, especially plants that are more temperamental, don't do well and cracky, which we learn about in our simple hydroponics course. I teach you how to take like a tray like this, uh, just a simple tray and that you could drill some net pot holes in and plant your plants and have it sit down in a water reserve without any aeration. That's what we learn in simple hydroponics, in our simple hydroponics video courses. But in this advanced course, we take it a step further. And with both the deep water culture, where we have an aeration grid, we use an air pump to run that air bubbles into your aerated water reserve, nutrient reserve. And here in our aeroponic system, we actually have a pump, a submersible pump with sprayers that spray the roots of your plants. And that works really well with plants that are more temperamental, that might not do well in a cracky system where the roots just sit in stagnant water without any aeration being added to the nutrients. Now here in our third module of advanced hydroponics, we're going to learn how to build a hydro tower like you see here. And that utilizes the grow media like your uh, hydrogen. You'll fill those trays with that grow media and you can grow a number of plants in that unit as well. Things like uh, lettuce and spinach and herbs do well in a hydro tower as well as strawberries. Now, strawberries are more temperamental because they're more prone to root rot. So I talk a little bit about what I do when I do grow strawberries in my hydro unit. And I typically only grow them for two or three months and then I put them out in my garden because strawberries do need that winter break where it's 50 degrees or, or below to be able to give those roots uh, and give those plants a little bit of a break over winter. And it's a little harder to do in my indoor um, hydro tower system to be able to give those strawberries what they need to grow all year round. Plus, because the roots are more temperamental, typically they, I only get about two or three months before I start having root rot issues. So, but I do talk about how to, how to set it up if you're going to be growing with strawberries and things to watch out for with root rot and that kind of thing. And so the hydro tower is really great, not only for utilizing a very small place to be able to grow because you can get four plants per tray and you can develop different size units anywhere from one tray to five trays. I show you how to set it up for different, different amounts of plants that you want to grow. And it really is a nice system, especially for a backyard porch or a balcony where you get the sun coming through and moving throughout the day to make sure all the plants get all the light that they need. And it's a beautiful system to set up where you want a nice ambiance too because the water trickling down through the trays gives it kind of a little bit of a, a fountain sound effect. So that's what we're gonna be learning about in module three of our advanced hydroponics course. I don't wanna to forget to tell you guys, every single course has a PDF manual which will give you the list of materials that you need for each hydroponic build. So don't forget to download that manual with each course and with each uh, video module. And then also don't forget to check out our hydroponics blog for tips and tricks with growing with hydroponics and with various plants that you might want to grow in your systems. Thanks for watching and I will see you in our module videos below.